Hey fellow tennis nerds, let's talk about the booms, shall we? I've done my first impressions about the booms, the Boom MP and the Boom Pro. I haven't tried the lighter booms, there will be a theme version and so on coming out as well. And these will launch very soon. And uh, really been enjoying these two frames. Actually the MP a bit more, uh, which surprised me in the beginning. I thought the Pro was the way to go, but actually I find that the slightly softer response of the MP is, is something I prefer but you need to dial in the string choice and you need to add some weight to this one. I felt like they, they went a bit light with the MP, in my opinion. They, they could have gone a little bit higher in weight. They went to 295 grams on strung and a pretty low swing weight. So my swing weights, when I received both the prototype version, which is all black, and you got this text here, and, um, and this retail uh, paint, which is as a Bianchi bike, but looks really cool. I uh, really liking the colors actually. This one just um, felt a little bit underpowered, you know, it, it's, it's not quite stable enough. And I think that's what most playtesters said in the end, that this was not really as stable as it could have been. So a little bit more weight would have helped that. Uh, I, I can obviously fix that myself, no issues at all. I just add a bit of weight, only two grams up here, uh, so not really a whole lot. I add, then add a leather grip, because I like that feeling, especially with these grip palettes from head. That's a very personal choice, uh, obviously. But that extra weight helps the racket, you know, play better and, and be a little bit more, more uh, solid in feel. So the MP, actually my favorite of these two rackets, which is strange, but uh, it's, it's a, by a slim margin. I also like the Pro. In the end, the Pro I feel is more string sensitive and it's a little bit stiffer. So it's not stiff in a way it hurts my arm, but the feeling is not my 100% uh, what I like, I prefer the feeling of that's a bit softer of the Extreme Tour. And as you know, my, my old racket, the Prestige MP from 2019, still what I, I, I tend to go to in my bag if I'm lost among all the play tests. And uh, yeah, that one has more control and a plusher feel, but that's what I like. You know, if you like a crisper response, I think the Boom Pro with its extra power profile, uh, pretty whippy feeling and uh, not too stiff. But, but gives you extra power is a very interesting frame. I actually like that one a lot, but not quite there. Um, this one, you can actually mitigate some of the stiffness if, in feel if you string it with their head links touch, which is probably the string I prefer the most of these strings. Uh, I, the Lynx Tour felt a little bit uh, plastic boardy to me in this racket. So uh, I, I prefer having a softer string like a hybrid or a Lynx Touch. The Lynx Touch string that they um, are releasing now is, is very good string, uh, put it in my Extreme Tour, a uh, great combo. Also works really well in the Pro when I try that, so it's, it's actually a very nice racket. Uh, but the MP with some slight customization feels very easy to use. I like that it's kind of almost plush, great feeling and uh, you know string it with, with a controlled string at a lower tension you can try, that, that works pretty well. And uh, it's, it's a power frame but it didn't go like power power like an instinct i feel like they they actually went to a bit more of a moderate middle ground response and i i like that i think that they 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 didn't go all in on the power it is lower lower power than an e 100 or a pure drive for example uh, but I, I kind of like that approach i think it's doesn't have to be full-on power pretty forgiving sweet spot and uh, and relatively easy to use but i do think that they could have added some weight but with some just light modification and this all depends on the quality control right let's say you're buying the racket and you might give a different specification than i got but i had the same specification on both of mine uh, which was interesting which is a good sign but both of them needed weight so that's just my preference i felt like i'm not alone in saying that the the swing weight and the weight of this one is a little bit too low uh, for being kind of a, a weapon on the court for, for at least for more advanced players. But uh, overall, very nice frame, the MP, and it's, it's by, a, by a, you know, a hair that I choose that one over the Pro. Pro Whitbeer, I almost feel I get more power from the Pro, which is weird, but a little bit smaller sweet spot. Um, but the MP, it feels more natural to me, a little bit more plushness, uh, good forgiveness, uh, which I need more of these days, and the overall really nice playing frame. Where do they fit in the head family? Yeah, they are the power rackets now, but I still feel like the extremes, for example, are as powerful. And the extreme MP is, is maybe even more powerful than the, the boom MP. I uh, didn't find quite the power that maybe they were intending. Uh, it has a 600 MP power level. And I'm not sure if that's 100% correct. 
but I'm feeling this place a little bit less powerful than what maybe they, they thought. The pro has 400. So what kind of player do, do they appeal to? I think the MP has a wide base. If you need some help from the frame, but you don't want to get all the way to a power racket like the E100 or the Pure Drive, you, you can go for the MP. If you're a pretty advanced player, but you want more pop on your shots, um, you're playing maybe with a 98, but you want a more powerful 98, then this one should be demoed because it gives you good power and, uh, and uh, some spin potential, pretty decent sweet spot. Feeling, not the best feeling of the head lineup. I think they have so many good frames head uh, overall now that they have so many frames. Uh, I like the Extreme Tour more when it comes to the feeling and the response overall. I feel like I get a bit more control, a bit stronger connection to the ball with the Extreme Tour. And that's still going to be my preference over the Pro here. But if you want more power than the Extreme Tour, I think the Pro is the choice to, to go for. Uh, I do find the power ratings a little bit misleading. I don't know if it's me, but the Boom Pro, for example, uh, has a lower CPI index, which is their control power index, than the, Boom, than the Extreme Tour. Because the Extreme Tour has 500 and this has 400. I think um, the, this one should be reversed. Like I, I think this one should have 500 and the Extreme Tour should have 400. I feel like the Extreme Tour is pretty controlled. Uh, despite what, what string you put it in. So that's my opinion, but yeah. It's hard to judge the CPI sometimes because it's very personal and depends on the string and like the quality control the racket you get and so on. So they might be right on, but for me, that's my personal experience. So those are my final thoughts about the booms. Great rackets, um, nice update to the whole head uh, lineup uh, in the silo. Not the kind of power frames you might imagine replacing the Instinct. I think the Instinct maybe stays around. The MP is, is lower power than I thought it would be, which I like. So that's why it, it became my preferred boom frame. Uh, do like the Pro, but I feel like the connection uh, with the Extreme Tour is a bit better if you're looking for a 98, in my opinion. Well, that's about it for this one. I, I hope you found it useful. Let me know if you like the booms or if you don't like the booms and why in the comments below. If you want to support the work I do, check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash tennis nerd. You can also buy something through the links in the description. I get a small commission if you do at no extra cost to you. Big thanks. That's all. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis. Oh!